welcome to Crafty Sheila's here. I'm Belle. I've got Loz on the line with me and I'm unboxing another Diamond Art Club that I got in a D-stash recently called Winter Visitors by Donna Gelsinger. How beautiful is this kit? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Yep. When I've been buying this off for a while. When you first showed that to me, I thought it was the Abraham Hunter because he brought out a couple like, like those ones. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. No, I think his were like a lot bigger. And I think, did you have like, there was buildings in there. Like I want to say, were they little chapels or something in the background for Abraham yeah, Hunter? Yeah, they oh. had something. Yeah, I can't remember. So I didn't go quite so big. I've got enough big ones in my stash. So I thought <laughs> I would get a smaller one. But I thought this would be a really nice one for Christmas. I've I've been really considering doing a white Christmas next year if, everything comes according to plan so i was like no i'm feeling the white christmas vibe this year get me in the mood for next year so i thought i would get this one and have it ready to do in my stash when um christmas time's coming around in a month or two's time all right so for anyone who hasn't ordered a diamond art club before it gives you a bit of a cheat it's got a picture of a square on it um so that tells you that they are square drills and obviously we got a lovely image here which is a 50.8 by 69 centimeter okay so on the rest of the box um on the side again we've got that picture of the square it's got your step-by-step -step instructions about how to diamond paint and what is included in the kit and there's a qr code if you need a discount honestly with diamond art club never ever 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 pay full price there are so many discount codes available they have sales all the time it is not worth paying full price at this company it's they have some great deals Sorry, let's open this big bad boy. So inside the kit, we get the fun tool kit. We get our diamond painting with some of our extra stuff in there. And we also get the little thumbnail sticker. So this one can go on the edge of the boxes depending on how you store your kits. Some people will actually put it on the front of their um, dust cover bag. Other people like me will put it in their logbook sticker. So whatever works for you, it's just a free little image that you can use. All right, and our toolkit. Ah, because this one is a square, we get our super sharp stubby tweezers. Actually, they're reasonably dull. There they look it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so usually you get super stabby tweezers. These ones are normal tweezers. That's fine. Um, they are branded as Diamond Art Club. So they're quite nice tweezers to use. I use them for pretty well everything in my house, including clearing out my putty out of my pen. I did um, yeah. Bag of baggies. Again, not tons in there, but that's okay. We have our – oh, I've only just unboxed one with a black squishy and black pen. It's fine random that's all good that one went on reasonably easy so you've got your little soft pen grip to make it easier if you're going to use these pens and then if you are wanting to do multi-placing they do give you a four and a seven placer as well and they're the really nice thin multi-placers so they're really handy to use you can just pop that in the other end of your pen okay How is that, all... two black ones in <laughs> yeah we two out of three yeah <laughs> Um, we've got our little heart caddy with our two plates of heart-shaped wax. It does have the plastic on both the top and the bottom, so make sure you remove those before you're using them in your pen if you decide you're going to use it. It is actually quite a good wax. We've got our tray with our little tray stopper in there. Um, these are good quality little trays. I don't mind them at all. Um, I often use them, especially in our kitting up. I tend to use the big old like 3d printed trays for when i'm actually diamond painting but i don't mind this size for when i'm doing my kitting out process so quite a good tray and then these are our two little bonuses so this one oh the little oh. cute you know. oh you've got two of them now that can be mine mm -hmm. <laughs> Mine's yeah, <not>. right. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> all right you're feeling sick okay for the, for the one. one time that we're actually going to meet in person whenever that'll be <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know this is a cover minder so when you're working on your diamond painting you can peel back a section of that plastic cover that covers the glue and you can pop the normal magnet underneath and you pop the pretty bit 
over the top um, and it will just hold back that bit of plastic for you to be able to access your glue and work on it. And then our random washi tape. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that one. I haven't seen that before. No, it's a real blue base. That's nice. Very good. Um, if you don't know what how to use the washi tape, I have already made up a video about how you might be able to section off your canvas using a washi tape or doing an edging around it. So I'll link that in the description below as well if you want to check that out. Okay. So to get our painting, we get a branded dust cover bag. Sorry, apologies if you can hear the wind. It's picked up and I'm outside trying to get some nice natural lighting. Um, so Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Oh, totally ripped that, but that's okay. I'm going to do it in a month or two's time anyway. Oh, goes this way. Oh, look at those colours. Oh, so pretty. That is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. This should not be. It's actually not too bad. Again, it's line blocking. I don't think it'd okay. be as bad as you think it was. Right. Eh? Um, <laughs> so I can show you, like in the tree stump. Like, check out the tree yeah. stump. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. It's not too bad, and even like a lot of the leaves, like you've got sections. Like you're still going to be changing the tree. Even then, it's actually not too bad. You've got. Like no, three. that's giving me that's no, no, that's giving me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine up here. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Hearts okay. not as far. I'll just focus on this for a second so I can breathe. Yeah. Feeling better? <laughs> that's much better. Yep. Feeling good. Okay. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no beautiful. Alrighty, so we also get inside our kit, we do get a little leaflet, a little thank you for your purchase written by the owner, Angie. Um, what your kit contains, it's got a QR code to watch a video on how to do diamond painting. Once you've done your purchase from Diamond Art Club, you can join their VIP group. This was a D-stash for me, which means technically I wouldn't have been able to join it if I hadn't already bought kits from them. Step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks with a little thank you code. And you can also download the app for both Android and iPhone. And if it's the first time that you've bought through the app, you do get another discount. Like I said, never pay full price. You also get your sticker sheet. So this is your logbook sticker. Look at that beautiful image. That is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Gosh, that's just incredible. Love it. Um, so it is a square. It's a 50.8 by 69. So it is a medium-sized kit. It's not too bad. Uh, it does have 46 colours. Again, this is one of the slightly older kits, so they don't have all the extra special drills. They've only got the ABs, but there are four ABs. Oh, nice. Wow. So anything for Diamond Art Club in the older kits that is under the number 150 is an AB drill. So, ooh, it's going to be interesting. Okay. For the colours, which way? This way. I'm just going to flip that over so it's a bit more obvious, and that'll help to flatten it out a bit. So, with your colours, it does come with a sticker on there so that you know which one, which drills go with which kit. So, if you do store your canvas separate to your drills, you should be able to easily match them up. The wind's picking up. I just got to move things around so they don't all fly over the edge of the balcony. Can't imagine <laughs> Belle running around the balcony picking up all the toolkit. <laughs> I'm not running around the balcony, and if it goes over the balcony, I am not running downstairs. That'll be my husband's job in case there are any more slithering creatures. So I'm oh, just yeah, getting yeah. it out there now. <laughs> <laughs> so if she goes quiet, we know what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Alrighty, so oh these are some big chunky bags, so it's gonna be interesting. Oh wow. So we got greens, we got sort of those um brownie greys, getting more into the grey tones here. So there's two bags of the six four seven. More tones of grey. Two bags of the three oh two two. 
Oh, tray bags. An extra bonus one. Cream, browns, cream. Two bags with the 580. We've got more of the really lightest tones of the grey. Two bags of the 648. Two bags of 453. And our first AB. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which is the Northern Lights. So you can see this is like the brilliant white, but you can see there's this extra special coating that sort of reflects a little bit more of like the rainbow, which is sort of reminiscent of the Northern Lights. So Diamond Art Club have one for one in a lot of their kits because it is a really, really versatile one, although it wasn't in my last one. All right. 838 and 452. Okay, we've actually got two bags of 452 because it changed over trains. Two bags of the 951. Two bags of 581. So these are all the big bags, apparently. Two bags of 3787. One bag of 3371. So not too bad. Oh, and then we're getting into our reds, more of our brighter green. Pretty colours. Our second AB, more of like a lime green. That's a nice colour. It's different, isn't like it? it? It's oh, I like that. That's nice. Uh, I don't mind it too. It turns out really nice when you put it on the. It camera. does. Is that the Spangler green? No. Is it no. one three four? I don't know what it is in AB, but it's the nine o nine o four or nine o seven. I think it is. Okay. And then more of the purple. And then our last frame. Might just end. Okay. So we got more of that maroon colour. Oh, these are pretty. There's our lovely 606. <laughs> now, stick, stick, stick oh. to go with it. <laughs> yeah. They're all there. Gosh, you're on oh, there. I've never noticed that really, before. Yeah, no, I always noticed because. And sometimes they'll end up being like next to each other when you're doing your kidding up. And I'm uh, always like, oh, six or six or six, six, six. Which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, third AB. Look at that bright orange. Oh. That is beautiful. Oh, Lovely. More of the browns. That's a darker green. We got some of those more pale colours through there. Oh, and that's our fourth and our final AB, the 129. That really pale yellow as well. But there's not tons of it, so I don't think there's going to be heaps on the kit. That bright orange that you love. Yeah. And its best friend is to finish it up. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's have a look at this beautiful canvas again. Okay. So where are ABs are going to, oh, let's go around the, the canvas. I'm going to remember this time. Okay. <laughs> it's just the bell's way. That's just, it just is, roll. It is. Just roll with me, roll with me, crazy. just come along for the ride. Yeah. So <laughs> don't want to do what makes you sparkle. And we have one legend on the top left. We also have a legend on the bottom right. And down the bottom we have social details. We've got our lifetime warranty information if you are the original purchaser of the kit. And we've also got the thumbnail with all the information about the copyright. So this is between Diamond Art Club and Donna Gelsinger, uh, which does mean that Donna is being paid for her artwork when they use it in diamond painting, which is fantastic. So they should be. Okay. Oh, I really love this image. It's beautiful. Um, sorry, that first one is that really pale yellow. 129 has a symbol number one. So where have we got it? Now, there wasn't tons of this. So, oh, there really is only a little bit. Okay. How much can you see? I'm just going to. The really pale on the side oh. and the top of the birds. Oh, the birds. That's all the I was not yeah. expecting that. A tiny bit on the beak. So oh. it's just highlighting. Yeah, that's really subtle. That's gorgeous. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay. The bright reds. No, was it orange? Orange. orange bright orange. Yeah. 
was the number two symbol. So as you kind of expect, it's sort of like in the middle of the berries. So there's going to be other reds and oranges and things that are going to be around it. Um, but definitely through the berries at the top and all through the bottom, all around those berries in there. And then this lovely big, I think it's a cardinal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, there's patches of it all through the breast. Oh, and the car. So it's alternating between 606 <laughs> and actually it's not alternating with 666. It's 606 and 817. Oh. Okay. Okay. Didn't Interesting. That. The 666 <laughs> is along the bow of it. Okay. Still, it's a really bright red. So it's a really yeah. bright couple of reds and you're just going to have that um, really bright orange to sort of, I think, bring that more redness to life. Wow, that was bad English. <laughs> it's all right. We're Australian, oh, mate. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number three was that green, that 135. Um, so as you kind of expect, it's going to be around a lot of the, is this, is this like holly with the berries? I have no idea. I'm really sorry to anyone who's watching us that's screaming at the, the screen telling us what we're doing wrong. We don't have any of this stuff over here in Australia, especially at Christmas time. No. So apologies in advance. I, I feel I feel like it's either holly or mistletoe. Yeah, Maybe it's mistletoe. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm no help today. I feel like I'm an absolute idiot at the moment. So tell me in the comments below. <laughs> what this is we have um, prawns and other and like salads for christmas we don't have like hot foods yeah. and beautiful yeah. flowers and <laughs> yeah we do like prawn entrees followed by like cold prawns out of the fridge oh. followed by barbecue lunches with salads yeah. sorry and That's like right. we go to the beach on christmas day and play beach cricket like th this is <laughs> <laughs> this is the absolute opposite to anything that we normally do over here. So yeah. please excuse us for not knowing what all these things are. Please this is very us. much a northern hemisphere. Please pull yeah. us out of our misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we're so good at this, Roz. <laughs> All right, we 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 know we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone has to tell us about that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so around all the edges of, I'm going to call it mistletoe. I, I have a sneaking suspicion it's mistletoe. So yeah. we're going with mistletoe for the purpose of this video. Um, but where you can sort of see that light <laughs> edging around it, that's going to be all of that really pale green AB. So it's sort of like lined all the way throughout this. Um, but yeah, just just around everything. It's going to be lovely. And all the way up, same through the top. Save me pointing out every bit. The last one is 141. So for Diamond Art Club, that's that white one. And their symbol for 141 is always the white square with the black dot in the middle. Um, so it's, look, this is a snowy scene. I'm expecting it to be patched all through the snowy areas. So there are going to be bits sort of up near the berries whatever they end up being called, um, you know, where there's snow sort of around that and on the trees and things, they're going to be all through that big patch of it on the um, tree stump. So that main section through the middle is all going to be your one for one. Um, patches of it underneath this other lovely little, I'm assuming it's still a cardinal. I only know red cardinals, but I assume the other bird is still a cardinal. It looks the same. Um, patches of it all through here, all down the side here. Yeah, just patchy. Patchy to highlight that snow, but absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's going to be lovely. I'm really looking forward to doing this. I need to get my butt in the gear and get a Christmas kit this year. Hey, girl, do some Christmas ones with me. I still got to finish my big magical view to Christmas. I'm going to work on that soon. Oh, yeah. That's what he said last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Can't yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just prompting her. It's all good. I'm just prompting you. How about how about you concentrate on your own whips, love? <laughs> hey, I'm almost done, Nefertiti. And uh, what about what about no Herbert? Hey, 
What about crazy cat lady? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's, that's not a wick. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> for our viewers we're not generally having a go at each other this is just how we tend so so we're not gonna go into it's fine <laughs> oh, God. at least don't leave us we need you <laughs> please please we're, we're such a little down here <laughs> yeah that's right we need help <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, on that side note, let's <laughs> let's close out the video. So um this is the the absolutely beautiful Winter Visitors by Donna Gelsinger and Diamond Art Club. I'm really looking forward to being able to do this one hopefully in the next month or so when I finish my other Christmas kits. Thank you very much, Lots. Um <laughs> <laughs> if you like this one don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below and if you do like what we're doing and the crazy that is us please subscribe to us and hit that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos but other than that i hope you all have a really good week and we'll see you in a video soon thanks guys bye see you later